hello students in this tutorial we are uh, we are learning how to connect other data sources other sql data sources currently we learned so far that how we can connect the google drive to uh, the google drive by default app sheet is connected with google drive but now uh, we are learning how to connect our database which is somewhere on the cloud and how we can connect that to the app sheet we are for this purpose we are using superbase uh, which is a free tier which is a free service of some uh, limited free service you for learning purpose you can use this it's a great uh, uh, cloud db so uh, uh, creating account on this cloud db is quite easy and this super base here let me create a new project a new uh, database like we create a new workbook there in data and in, in google sheet uh, and drive similarly let me create a new uh, uh, database here a new project let me name it example um, example task example task is the name uh, let me type in the uh, the, uh, the the database password i have uh, let's say uh, i already have one password so and make sure that you will uh, uh, you will keep this uh, cop uh, keep this copied uh, like this copy this so it will we will need it uh, uh, further uh, so you can copy it uh, you can choose the the cloud uh, location let me paste you eu uh, uk so create new project example task the new project is created now let's go to the database here setting up project it will take some time uh, it will take a minute or two to setting up the project Let's wait for it and it will take time a minute or two to create yeah the project is now set so uh, database is created the database is created let's create a new table let's say I want to create a table as usual uh, manager managers uh, description to record managers data okay uh, make sure that we uh, remove any security extra security so that it can be accessible uh, from um, uh, app sheet So our table is created here. Let me uh, us remove one. This uh, mm, this uh, table. I need the ID. Yes, I need the ID, but then I don't need the, the second one. And let me uh, change it from manager manager id and what should be the data type uh, integer means number okay fine we can assign it integer yeah it is 
integer rate okay integer means number so the data type is fine let me create a new column let's say uh, manager name let's say name and the data type should be text data type remember this is postgres uh, um, uh, superbase use postgres so postgres uh, prefer text or war character war chart so the third uh, should be the role what role he plays manager name role and it is also text enough for for learning purposes so let me create uh, another um, another table let me create another table let's go and create new table uh, let me call it tasks description to record tasks data fine we are okay sorry uh, we should remove this um, extra security layer from it let's say uh, yeah now uh, we should remove the second uh, column i am okay with the first one but i will change the name let's say task id and integer is fine i want new column like task description description in what should be the text text data text text data type and assign to i need another column assigned to assign to text is fine text is fine so there we go so uh, it is time to connect our database to our uh, app sheet it is time to we will go to the to the account settings account settings remember students we will go to account settings in account settings we will go to sources and in sources new data source very easy peasy here cloud database is or database there on the cloud or sql is postgres and what is our uh, server for server we will go to the settings of our cloud database we go to setting database and we need to copy this for server we need this host and port together so let copy this and let me add it here post and semicolon 5432 we will add the port so it will become the server and database is postgres yes the username is also postgres and the password is i told you they keep uh, uh, remember your password so the password is here so we let me test it let me test it 
yeah we are okay let authorize it yes authorize access it is accessible now okay we are fine now let's create a new app app start with the existing data our new app is example task category is planning in project yeah sorry we will have to refresh it yes because it will take time to know that new data source is now so let's start again new app example task yeah example task planning in project choose your data yeah cloud database is here now uh, let's connect that cloud data schema in public tables let me connect first the manager and later on we will connect the table task as we did previously in uh, google drive case so there we go we had this new we have connected the cloud sql database and here we go we have manager uh, data table you can see let me let me connect the new data table uh, which is the task it is again there in the schema tables task add the this table we got it and we add and luckily uh, this time uh, we had the ux also there in the uh, it created the ux for us uh, um, the app sheet so uh, we have to uh, um, to tables to uh, to interfaces on top of table let's go to the data let's see the data columns and let's see the databases here it is number the role is long text so uh, i'm fine we are okay yeah we add a unique id we describe so this is how we can do it mm. manager new manager and new manager role let's say ceo so in this way we connect uh, the rest of the process is same uh, as we did uh, in the uh, the same way we can uh, create reference between two tables as we did as we learned previously so the main thing was uh, the main point of this tutorial was that how we can connect cloud db cloud sql to the uh, uh, to to the app sheet and that's that we did it as you see we did that and you can see we have a new source uh, in our account setting you can see we in sources we have new database a cloud db in this we can create other databases to our uh, app sheet thank you so much